Hi students, welcome to my channel Thoughts of Physics. In the video series of Ray Optics, in this class, I am going to explain mirror equation. So this mirror equation gives the relation between fo focal length of the mirror, object distance and image distance. Now, let us consider a concave mirror. So what is concave mirror? And all we have discussed in the previous class. So I have taken a concave mirror here. This is a concave mirror. So what is concave mirror? A spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is towards the center of curvature. Now for this spherical surface, center of curvature somewhere here it lies. Now this is the opaque surface. This is the opaque surface and it is the reflecting surface of the mirror. So, this reflecting surface is towards the center of curvature, so it is called concave mirror. Now, this is the pole P. The geometric center of the mirror is called pole of the mirror. Now, let us draw principal axis. is the pole. This is the principal axis. Now, this is F, the principal focus and this is C, the center of curvature. Let us consider an object is placed in front of this concave mirror. Object is placed in front of this concave mirror somewhere here. This is the object. That is the object. Now, here the object is placed beyond the center of curvature. That is, object distance is greater than the focal length. What is focal length? The distance between pole and the principal focus is called focal length. So, now object distance means the distance between pole and object. Here, object distance is greater than the focal length. Then, it gives, okay, this concave mirror gives real and inverted image. Now, to obtain the image of this object, any two of the light rays can be used. Now, let us uh, say that is A, B. A, B is the object. A, B is the object. Now, let us consider light rays. A light ray parallel to the principal axis. This is the light ray parallel to the principal axis. This is the principal axis and this is the light ray. Whenever the light ray is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection, after reflection, it passes through the principal focus. Yesterday we have, last class we have discussed this. Now, let us consider this light ray incident on this concave mirror at a point M. After reflection, the light ray will pass through the principal focus like this. This is the reflector ray. This is the incident ray and this is the reflector ray. And the second light ray, the light ray which passes through the center of curvature, the light ray which passes through the center of curvature, after reflection, it retraces its path. After reflection, it retraces its path. That means it travel along the same direction, travel along the same direction. The next one is. The next light ray is when the light ray incident at the pole, when the light ray incident at the pole, after reflection by this mirror, okay, it contributes to the image. That means it follows the loss of reflection. That means, okay, it follows the loss of reflection, it moves, it travels along this direction. The point where the three light rays meet. The point where the three light rays meet, it forms the image. Then the image form at this particular point. This is the image. Real and inverted image, this is. Now here, so let us say the image is, this is B dash and this is A dash. Because this, this, this at this tip I have given A, so that's why it is A dash. Here it is B, this is B dash. Now this is the ray diagram. This is called the ray diagram. Okay. 
Next, let us consider some similar triangles from this figure. Similar triangles from this figure. Now, so let us consider some similar triangles. The triangles are first triangle I have considered that A dash B dash F. Triangle A dash B dash F and triangle M P F. M P F. These two triangles are similar triangles. Are similar triangles. Similar, you can say right angle triangle also. Similar triangles. Similar triangles. So for the similar triangles, there is a rule that is the ratio of base is equal to ratio of sides for the two triangles. Here, what triangles I consider that is A dash B dash F and M P F. So first this triangle A dash P dash F. This is the point F. This is the point F. Now A dash B dash F for this triangle for identification. So I am putting dots here. You can easily identify the triangles. Now A dash B dash F. This is the triangle A dash P dash F. For this triangle, okay, the side is B dash A dash. I have taken this side. What is the side is that is B dash A dash. B dash A dash. So because according to sign convention, we have discussed that the distances are measured from pole and heights are measured from principal axis. According to that convention only, I am taking the here the notation also. Here B dash A. You can take it as A dash B dash also, no problem. But sign convention, I am following that B dash A dash. I have written that. Now by next similar triangle is what? M P F. M P F. For this MPF triangle, MPF triangle, the similar side, okay, similar to this B dash A dash is this one. So that can be written as PM. Similar side for this A dash B dash triangle, A dash B dash F triangle, A dash B dash is a side. In this triangle, MPF triangle, similar to B dash A dash is PM. I have written that. The ratio of what I have taken, ratio of the sides is equal to ratio of bases. That means for this A dash B dash F triangle, the base is F B dash. The base is F B dash divided by over. For this triangle, what is the triangle? M P F. For this triangle, the base is P F. The base is P F. Next. Now A B dash A dash by P M. From the figure, you can observe that P M is equal to AB, that is BA. Both are same height lines. That means in place of this PM, you can write BA, that is B dash A dash by BA. In place of this PM, I have written BA is equal to F B dash by PF. Let it be equation number one. Equation number one. Next, let us consider another set of similar triangles. So another set of similar triangles are A dash B dash P on triangle. Triangle A dash B dash P. A dash B dash P and A B P. Triangle A B P. Two triangles what we consider? Triangle A dash B dash P. A dash P dash P and triangle ABP. ABP are similar. Are similar triangles. Are similar triangles. Right. Again, apply the same rule for these triangles also. Now I am taking now the ratio of side is equal to ratio of basis. Now, what are the triangles we consider here? A dash B dash P. For this A dash B dash P, the side is again B dash A dash. That is B dash A dash by. What is the next triangle is A B P. A B P. For this right angle triangle, the side is B A. So B dash A dash by B A. That is equal to. Next basis. 
a dash b dash p for this triangle the base is p b dash the base is p b dash by next it's similar triangle a b p a b p a b p for this triangle the base is p b the base is p b let it be equation number 2 this is equation number 1 and that is equation number 2 from first and second equations you can observe that left hand side b dash a dash by b a first equation second equation also b dash a dash by b a left hand side equal right hand side we can equate that means equation number 1 is equal to equation number 2 then what we will get if you equate the right hand side terms f b dash by f b dash by p f f b dash by p f is equal to okay if you equate to second equation that is p b dash by p b p b dash by p b right next uh, we can observe here f b dash so f b dash so from f to b dash the distance it can be written as p b dash minus p f f b dash can be written as p b dash minus p f so that i am writing f b dash is p p dash minus p f i am writing that f b dash it, it is equal to p b dash minus p f by p f is equal to p b dash by p b p b dash by p b so let it be equation number three equation number three next let us have the values of these terms from the figure and let us substitute there next what is there here p b dash p b dash means the distance from p to b dash a dash b dash is the image the distance from pole to image that is called image distance image distance that can be taken as here from the distance from p to p to b dash that can be taken as image distance is v next p f p f p f is pole to principal focus the distance from pole to principal focus is called focal length that can be expressed like f small f the distance from pole to principal focus is focal length next is what what is there here p b p b means from pole to b b means what here a b is the object from pole to object the distance is called object distance now this distance can be taken as u object distance denoted by u that can be taken as u let us substitute all these values there now let us what is p b dash p b dash is equal to from p to b dash image distance so it is v so according to cartesian sign convention okay it is measured from p to b dash it is measured in the opposite direction of incident line this is the incident ray direction but from p to b dash we are measuring in the opposite direction so it is taken as minus negative sign cartesian sign convention in the last class already we have discussed it and next p f p f the distance from pole to principal focus that is called focal length it is also measured in the direction opposite to the incident direction that is also can be taken as f it is minus f. according to cartesian sign convention it is minus f next p b p b means the distance from pole to b point b is nothing but it is object object distance it is called so p b is equal to object distance u it is also measured in the opposite direction of incident light it is also can be taken as minus u then let us substitute all these values in the equation number three so from the third equation implies from the third equation implies p b dash p b dash is minus v minus p b dash minus p b dash value minus v minus as it is i have written p f p f is nothing but minus f minus of minus f there it is by over next p f p f is nothing but focal length that is minus f is equal to okay right hand side p b dash by p b 
P B dash is the value minus V. So minus V by P B value minus U. So minus minus here get cancelled. That means now if we simplify this equation minus V minus into minus that is plus plus F by minus F is equal to V by U. So now after this let us cross multiply it. So after cross multiplying, so what we will get? So this numerator is multiplied by u. Then what we will get? Minus uv plus uf is equal to minus vf. So v into this f minus vf. So we are getting this equation after cross, cross multiplication. Next term, divide the entire equation with u v f. So divide the equation the equation with u v f. The entire equation is divided by u v f. After dividing that we will get see what we will get. So what is this equation minus u v that is minus u v minus u v by u v f entire equation divided by u v f next plus u f plus u f by u v f is equal to minus v f minus v f by u v f next cancel the terms here it is u v u v cancel we left with minus 1 by f yeah u f u f cancel we left with plus 1 by v is equal to here v f v f cancel we left with minus 1 by u now so rearranging the terms you will get this minus 1 by u if you take this side plus 1 by u this minus 1 by f if you take this side plus 1 by f it gives so that's why 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f this is called the mirror equation this is called the mirror equation mirror equation this equation you can apply for any mirror that is concave mirror or convex mirror we have done this derivation by using concave mirror we can do the same derivation by using convex mirror also. So this is the mirror equation. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. For latest updates, subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you.